six video in our series showing you how to use the CDC Excel tool for thematic analysis. This video will review the example thematic analysis provided to you in the tool. As a note, thematic analysis is a very subjective process and interpretations of the codes will heavily depend upon your analytic questions. The first step in this process is to sort the specific codes into preliminary themes using the grouping code sheet. These themes may change slightly as we continue through the steps of the thematic analysis, but this is a first step in organizing our information. For the purposes of this example, we are going to choose the most frequently applied code of about people dealing with the epidemic using this slicer at the top. As we start to review the codes, we will copy and paste specific codes and their quotes over into the boards. For example, we may decide to start with grouping specific codes related to self-protection, including of action, personal self-protective steps, reporting others' self-protective steps, and strategies of how to protect oneself. We've now grouped these ideas together and we need to give the theme a preliminary name. So we may name it something like self-protection, what it is, and who does it. I've also gone ahead and done a little bit of formatting to make clear what is a code and what is a text segment. So I've gone ahead and sorted the rest of the codes into themes about concern, personal, personal vulnerability or loved ones, and information, um, the quality and ability, availability of that information. So these three boards now contain some preliminary themes. And what we wanna do with these themes is copy and paste this information from each board into our building theme sheet. So this is step one of the thematic analysis. In step two, what we will do is read through each of these text segments and their, co and their codes um, and work on categorizing and confirming our preliminary themes to ensure that similar codes and text segments are together. So what I'm going to do in part two is I'm going to read through each quote and write a sentence or two about what this segment means in the context of the group that I've put it in. I also may want to keep the codes copied over here so that I remember which codes go to which text segments. As I'm making these interpretations, I might realize that actually a particular text segment fits better with another category. For example, the statement thinks hand sanitizer is better than soap, we might interpret as people don't know all of the protection measures. And as we're thinking about this, we realize that this fits better with our information, our information theme. So I've noted that here under the self-protection theme, and I may also want to copy this information down to the information grouping so that when I get to this part, I can include this in the theme. As you do this, you may have to add rows or cells as you go so that you can organize this information. And you may also need to create new groupings if the groupings that you created on the previous sheet don't fully cover all of the ideas that are being talked about in here. So I've skipped ahead a little bit and added all of my interpretations for each of the codes. I've also copied over the theme and merged it so that it appears across all three of these steps. So what we're gonna do once we get to step three is actually read each of these summaries that I've written in my own words um, for each of the themes. So I'm gonna start by reading about what I've written for the self-protection theme. And then I'm gonna write a few sentences that help to summarize the entire group. If I've moved some quotes around, like for example, I've moved this one 
down to the information. I may want to do some formatting to make it clear that this is no longer part of this theme. So I may want to change the color or maybe make the other quotes bold just to really make it easy to see which quotes are being included in this theme. And at this point, I also want to identify what are representative quotes. So I want to go back here to step one and see what people wrote in their own words, the original quotes from the people who were interviewed, and identify what I think are representative quotes of the ideas that I've already written in this, in this step. And just copy this over so that it's easily accessible. In this case, we only have one quote, um, but there's a good chance you may have multiple representative quotes to represent multiple ideas. Um, so you can include as many as you like here. So again, I've gone ahead now and done this for each of the categories. So I have a short sentences that summarizes what I've already found in the previous step, and then a representative quote for each of the groups. Now in step four, we're going to bring the summaries together with information about how common the codes were in our text. Um, and just to note for steps four and five, we've set up the Excel tool so that you can complete these steps within the Excel worksheet. Um, however, it can be sometimes difficult to edit um, long lines of text in Excel. Um, and so this is a personal preference. You may prefer to move um, into a Word document at this point and simply use the information from step three um, to write about, write more broadly about the themes in a Word document. So in step four, um, we're gonna add information like the frequency of the codes that we've included. So we, at this point, we probably need to go back to either our grouping code sheet that has the pivot table where we originally pulled our themes from. This information is also going to be on the quote sheet. Um, so we may want to start with just how frequently applied was this about people dealing with the epidemic code, and we can see that 11 tech segments had this code applied to it. So we want to put in this information and then start to talk about the themes. So within this area, three themes emerged. At this point, you'll start to use the information that you have in step three that summarizes each of these themes to create a narrative um, to really describe these themes. So we'll talk about how the first theme centered around self-protection um, and that some people are staying at home and that there are some unmet, un, unmet needs for self-protection. Um, and at this point, we also would want to bring in the representative quotes so that people can see um, in the participant's own words what this theme really means. So again, I've gone ahead and copied in the summaries for the second and third theme so that we have a fully synthesized uh, thematic analysis. Finally, once we've synthesized the information, we can add some interpretations and next steps in step five. So first we wanna potentially revisit our analytic questions to remind ourselves why we were doing this thematic analysis in the first place. So if you've listed any um, analytic questions um, way back on that original planning sheet, uh, they are linked here. So these are the, um, this is the information that we included right here in these two cells. So if you've put any information in here, they will automatically show up on this building theme sheet. So we can revisit why we were doing it. Um, and so, you know, the questions that you wanna consider in this step will depend a lot on your actual analytic goals. However, for most analyses, you're going to wanna consider what actionable information is contained in these themes that you've identified and what future steps you or others may wanna take in response to this information. And this is an opportunity to really think about what the three themes mean um, all together. So the previous steps have had us considering these themes each by themselves, but this the last step is to really think about what all three themes mean together and what you can do um, in response to them. So once you've added your interpretation of this data, you've now completed a thematic analysis of some text data. At this point, um, you may want to repeat the thematic analysis steps with a different broad topic code. Um, or analyze your responses by some demographic information that you've included. So we've included some blank templates on both the grouping codes sheet. If you go over 
to rows, starting on rows Q. These are just blank boards, so you can copy these as many times as you like uh, and then group some new codes together to, to find some new themes. And on the building themes worksheet, underneath the example, we also have a blank thematic analysis template, which again, you can copy over as many times as you'd like um, in order to continue completing thematic analyses. A final step in this process um, is to use the results and planning worksheet, which includes questions um, about how to make plans for using the information that you've analyzed. Thank you for watching our series on using the CDC Excel tool for thematic analysis. For additional information about the tool, including advanced user options, such as customizing the coding scheme or using the tool with multiple coders, please see our user guide that has some more advanced options. And also please feel free to contact, contact us at textanalysistool at cdc.gov.